Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba, thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Pachas of India. So, as per normal, we are... You know what's interesting, we're about the same size as we were, say, three or four videos ago. But he's much bigger and has taken half of our land. We're just expanding away, we're doing what we can here. We're going to take a duchy here, that will help. Um, the other thing, we could, we can actually use the ledger. We could check out our claimants. You can see we actually have quite a few people who have claims on things. But it's just... You know, the way that this is organized is so useless. The Marzopanet, that's a county, I believe? Yep. So, like, we got a Marzopanet claim. Big deal. Thikana, that's a, that's a county as well. We have a claim on the, on the kingdom. Apparently. I don't know. That ledger page is so useless. It really doesn't help much. Unlike, say, the one in EU4, which is probably why that one exists in this game. Um, it's just not very useful. And, of course, this is our character, uh, Krishan the Fat, who has the wrong education and also started off as the wrong caste. So we've had, had our challenges with this guy. And my wife just died comatose in bed at the young age of 46. Hmm. Well, we can get married again. <clears throat> we have a Vaishya here that we can't marry. Well, we could, but we wouldn't want to risk it. I'm just going to do a quick perusal to see if we can find anybody with congenital stuff. 29-year-old genius Vaishya. And we have a strong Kshatriya. There we go. That will be the one. Alright, so we're on our way towards winning this war. And after that, that's right, we're still defending against this Baluchistan invasion. One of the things that annoys me about playing with these guys who have cultural titles is, it'll say, you know, it's the Safarid Holy War, and then it's, it's you know, he calls himself the Shah of Baluchistan, though. Like, just, I don't like it. Just rather that you just show me the right name. It'd be easier to keep things organized. Alright, so we got a little bit of money from that. We're going to continue to hold on to mercenary, all, all of our money, so that when it comes time to actually fight this guy, instead of just surrendering to him, we'll have the money to hire, like, all of the mercenaries, which will give us maybe another ten to 15,000 men. It's We're a long ways away from being able to actually fight him. Money or prestige? Um, prestige, I guess. Prestige doesn't really help us that much, but... And what's interesting is that we don't really have any religious problems. Like, there's no revolt risk on any of these province, these provinces. Like, notice how even though this is the religion Jain, it's not causing us to have revolt risk. So we don't have to convert it, but it still, in my mind, makes sense to have everything get homogenized over time. So we'll try. He's trying to take back Dasapura. Meanwhile, we're sieging more of the war goal down. We won't get our ticking war score until we occupy every province. So we're probably going to finish this one off. Run these armies through here to scare him away. And then have him go down to here. Here comes 4,000 men. Awesome. Looks like we're going to have to combine then for security. We are at our maximum raised levy. And now he has more men than we do. But we do have 2,000 ducats. Perhaps we do need to just raise some mercenaries for this. We have to grow. If we don't grow, we die. So, let's hire... God, I hate to hire so much. They're so damn expensive. At least they come with war elephants, right? I really hate to spend this money on that, but we have to. Still no real reason to create that duchy. Hopefully he just allows us to rally these mercenaries down into this army while he sieges back Dasapura, and then we'll use the mercenaries to go beat him up. We have an actual daughter that we can ally instead of a niece or nephew or whatever, so we can get an alliance out of this. We'll go with... Um, 
Let's go with the Soldier Man. It's a minor alliance, but um, we gain 140 prestige from it. And because he's old, he might die. And then we get to marry her again. And my daughter needs to be educated again. Excellent. More opinion with somebody. Of course, we're bleeding money at this rate because we don't actually have any income with our two whole provinces. Shah something of has instituted the limited crown law in Punjab. Shah. Oh, so he's a king now. Apparently he's branded himself the king of Punjab. So he, he did create that kingdom title after having consumed Molten. Awesome. Are you ever going to get rid of your event spawn troops, please? Like, they should... They should disband over time. Phase them out over ten years. I don't know. Do something. There is a river, but we'll take the crossing anyway. Oh, God. Defender bonus into jungles. Whatever. We should be okay. No! Don't lose! Freaking mercenaries. You better win. Pay for yourself, damn it. Thank you. Give me my duchy. We need this land. It's essential. There's the surrender. Uh, we gain the... Yeah, okay. We accept. Let's disband the regular troops first, keep the mercenaries on hire for just a moment, and we need to find our next target. Like, how can we grow now? So this is the guy who we attacked previously. We have a truce with you, yes. Of course we do. Um, that's who we actually were just at war with. This guy we also just were at war with. Still have a truce with you until 1006. Seven years. Truce with you ends 1009. Can't attack any of this because it's just a desert apparently. This guy, this girl, we can claim that duchy. Okay, great. The Marshal of Rennie has a claim on it. We need to land him. He's a possessed 65-year-old homosexual. Because, you know, why not? Let's see. We have the money that we could just create a barony, but it'd be easier if we could revoke a title. So let's actually, finally we will take the, uh, maybe plot to revoke stuff. This is plot to revoke the Thakana of Metapana. Yeah, that sounds good. This will piss off our vassal whose war we... Uh, we actually just pressed his claim. But now we're going to try to take back the Thakana of whatever it's called. And maybe because he, he really likes us, he'll just say yes. So we're trying to take Metapata from him. War it is. So I just made him strong, and now he's going to rebel. Instead of giving me that. You should at least just be like, yeah, you totally gave me an entire duchy. I will totally give you a single county. Sounds legit. Sounds fair. Seems like a fair trade. Alright, so our mercenary company is winning. Good. We have another daughter that came of age. This one's a homosexual craven thing. We'll marry her off for another... Minor Alliance. Who's going to give us more prestige? You give us 11. 11. You know, the prestige really doesn't matter that much anymore. But On the other hand, we could marry her off. Yeah, let's go ahead and marry her off to a king. Although this might prevent us from declaring war. Let's go with the Count. That way we don't have to worry about betrothals preventing war. He raised mercenaries now. Hopefully we can route them before they gain any morale. We have another daughter. Big ol' war elephant. This is fine. This gives us lots of war, war score. And if you want to surrender now, sir, we have another war we need to declare.
And this has 900 men, this has 600 men. We'll go siege the war goal. It would have been nice if we could just do it with nothing but battles, but I think we will need to siege at least one. How long until our next invasion? 1007. Seven years, that's all. It's the only reprieve we get. I'm really, really disappointed. Probably should have let everyone get into the pot, just because I think that they do get an opinion boost if you succeed. I can't recall. I really do like the new music. I'm excited to have new music. It's cool. So we still have the Kingdom of Delhi and the Kingdom of... We've got Delhi and Raj... Putana. Raj, is it Raj Putana? Yeah. Alright, finish this siege, we'll have the victory. His ticking war score will be gone. Probably have 100% after this first siege, would be my guess. Oh, point one. One more tick. 96%, nope, okay, well let's go take this. One last battle might do it. There we go, okay. So give us that land. Thank you. We've succeeded. We get that thing. Now we actually have righteous imprisonment. He still likes us, even though he declared war and usurped his title. That's fine. Now we're going to give to this guy, that Raj, that Thikana of Medpada. And now we're going to declare war on her. And claim that duchy on behalf of our new vassal. We don't have time for peace. We need to go to war right now. Notice how we kept the mercenaries on hire. We're just using them as much as possible. We have a kinsman that needs an educator. We'll make him into a fighter. Seems fine. Should probably have some commanders for this army, don't you think? And who likes us the least right now? We've got this guy who's pretty upset with us. Changed cast, raised levies minus 77, so he's still pretty busy. Let's go ahead and improve relations with him. It's been a long, long year. Long, long war. Dalma, Damal Paran Peasant Revolt. Okay. We had a daughter come of age that we can marry off for an alliance. Let's do that right away. Go with um, that guy. And then our son, who is not our actual character that we're going to play, we'll marry him off as well. Kshatriya, excellent. Our family's pretty big. I just really haven't had a very good character that we get to play as for a while. Got a 19-year-old bastard Kshatriya with decent stats. It's a quick... Now getting some more quick, strong genius in the DNA would be nice. She's a Vaishya. Genius Vaishya. Quick, quick. 35-year-old quick Kshatriya. She's a bit old, but we'll, uh... Well... I mean... She's at the bottom. Yeah, I guess we'll do it. And I think we might even be able to afford sieging through all of these at once. We've gotten ill quite, of quite often, and we have not died yet, so that's nice. I think we'll be staying on medium crown law. No! Who's this? Our guy who's special interest. That means that our war is probably going to end inconclusively now. Damn it! No! Why did you die? 
died a natural death at the age of 68. We just weren't able to press his claim. And he had no living heir. Damn it! I needed that duchy. Been paying for these mercenaries this whole time. Oh crap. Pathing right through. Naturally, of course, they're, they're too stupid to avoid a peasant rebellion on their own. After years of careful planning, some dude from the court of Raja has raised a large army of exiles, mercenaries, and hopefuls, declaring his intention to press his claim by force. So you were... a vassal of some sort? You have raised how many men? 30,000. An impressive number. I hate event spawn troops. I hate all of this stuff. I think it's just the dumbest addition to the game. I really hate it. He's got a strong claim on the Shadow of Afghanistan, so he's going to go and attack our neighbor. Well, at least at least he's spending those event spawn troops fighting our enemies. Maybe they'll even come to blows with the, uh, the dumb thing. Another crusade for Jerusalem. And we need to rethink our expansion strategy now that our claim is gone. We have no men that we can land. However, you know, these courtiers, these women... I suppose if we granted land to... Who the hell are you? You know? Just a random guy? Hmm. A woman's claim could be used, I guess. If we had to. Fifty-two thousand. So he's he's using up some of his troops. Ninety-eight percent in favor. So it's the conquest of Kabul. Apparently, he's decided to fight the Samanid dynasty now. So he's using up some of his men. And he's occupying a lot of the Samanids, which means that the Samanid dynasty is probably quite weak, and that that invasion is going to succeed. He could declare a, a holy war on Baluchistan. We can reach them now. Probably because of the ocean, the two two ocean provinces here. He's probably quite weak. We just beat him. 4,000 men. We kind of can't really afford to do that, though. Especially with the raised levies penalty being so high. Everyone's upset. Raised levies, huge. Would be a shame if you were to die and forget about our problems. You are infirm, though, so he'll probably die on his own. Let's not worry about it. Gujarat, can we take you? Truce till four more years. This revolt. You declare a holy war, you're a Sunni. Now there's a there's always a chance that this guy could try to defend him, but we're gonna try it. I mean if we can take a holy war, that's e that's even better than pressing a, a duchy claim. Because then we get all of that land right away. And we can make it our own since we're way below our domain limit. Might have been prudent to check to see how their war score is. It's the Pratihara Revolt League Independence War. Pretty good chance that he'll surrender in this war might end inconclusively. But we'll go for it. And naturally, I have rallied my men in. Okay, we're okay. We at ooh. Catcher some guy who's the heir to some thing. We'll keep him in prison for a while then. Okay, I'm going to take a break here. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.